dudes. Okay, so big shout out to Yumi Twins for sending me this box of stationery and Japan just like cute things. Shout out to me and they're like, hey, like, can we send you this box of things and like tell us how you feel about it? And honestly, thank you very much. I love things. And it's so cute. Like the packaging is super cute and I love whoever made this. I love the design and colors of it. It's stellar. Um, the things on the inside, I really, I got a, I got a really cute Hello Kitty little plushie and I love Hello Kitty. Like Hello Kitty did a collab with like Vans or something and I missed out on that and I'm sad. But now I have Hello Kitty merch finally. Like I never got any when I was a kid and now I have some now. So that's really cool. Um, in the box also came like stationery, like little papers that you could write, like notes to um, pen pals or something like that. There was a little pen that looks like it was made out of chocolate and super cute. Um, a really cute bowl that now I use as a kind of water dish because I've never had one for painting and it's really useful because it's good for that. No disrespect to a bowl, but it's actually i use it for water for when i'm painting um i also got like little zip bags and they're really cute um at first i was like oh i don't even know what i would do with stationery like stationery is really cute and i really want it but now that this whole quarantine shebang is going on because of miss rona um, I can use it and I can write notes to my friends and mail it to them. If, well, if I could get to the post office, I don't know if I could actually send out mail. I'm gonna check on that. <laughs> Never mind. But it's really cute. I really adore all the things that are in it and I really want to use them. And thank you very much for sending them to me. So a while back ago, I asked for some questions that you guys had for me as an artist for a video and initially I was intending on using those questions for a Q&A video but filming takes way longer than I anticipated and editing is also way more tedious than I anticipated so I'm just going to answer your questions here in this video. How did you get into art? Um, I actually got into art when I was really young. My, I have other family members who make art, so I was always around artists. And I also grew up watching a lot of cartoons and a lot of anime. I know this is real cliche, not original, but that is really what inspired me to make art and get into art. And like the first thing I ever drew, quote unquote, was like I traced a mini mouse sticker that I got from the doctors when I got a shot, so that's cool. If you were a type of sandwich, what type of sandwich would you be? I would hope that I would be an egg, like, breakfast sandwich because breakfast sandwich really are underrated. Like, croissant, egg, ham, cheese, maybe some lettuce, depending on what kind of, like, how we're feeling, some avocado. That, that I would hope I would be that sandwich. That's my aspiration as a person. Who is your inspiration? My inspiration right now, um, it's not really a specific living person. Like, there's not an artist that I just go to their page and I'm like, yes. Like, right now, currently. It always, like, fluctuates and changes who I'm drawn to. But right now, because of art history class um, in school, I'm really drawn to, like, Baroque art and that kind of style and just composition like the way they would make up their pieces is just stunning to me honestly i can't get enough of it and honestly if i saw it in person i would probably cry <laughs> like i'm so into bernini and baroque art in general um i'm just really looking towards like the past currently for my art art inspiration the only like contemporary artist i can name off the top of my head is um Janice Sung, Lauren Brevner, and Andre Remnev are some Instagram pages that I really love their work. Um, they're painters, and Janice Sung does digital art too, but they're just people that I love their work. 
Someone asked, are you making a career out of your art? And um, I mean, I'm going to art school and I'm in my freshman year and school is really expensive. So I would hope I would be able to make a career of my art and that you guys would be willing to support me because that would be really nice of you and I'd really appreciate it. Um, but hopefully, you know, I would love to be an illustrator or work for some, so some sort of like it, the graphic design team of some sort of company or even do like editorial illustrations or something like that because honestly that is so like freeing and like liberating and I really want to use my passion to fuel my career because it would just really suck to do something that I can't picture myself doing like I can't picture myself in an office job like just pushing numbers and stuff like that so I would hope art would be able to take me into a place that I can support myself financially. loose paper or sketchbooks and honestly both it depends on how i'm feeling like i try and keep a sketchbook because it's really neat and organized and easy to carry around but honestly sometimes i really can't put pen to paper in a sketchbook and i have to pick up a loose huh. loose leaf paper like a uh, printer paper or something like that and then draw on that because sometimes a sketchbook is a lot of pressure you know and i just want to create something stupid that's not like held to my name <laughs> as solidly as a sketchbook is so, both? I think we're getting into a weird area here. What inspires you most? Or what inspires me most? Um, honestly, everything, kind of. Like, anything that I can see or hear. Um, music really inspires me. Other artists really inspired me. Textiles, clothing, stuff like that really inspires me. Color, light, literally just opening my eyes inspires me. Um, dreams inspired me, like, it, it, a lot of things um, are sources of inspiration for me. My favorite medium, um, I would have to say acrylic and pencil. Like, I really love acrylic because it always dries, like, matte, and it's so opaque, and I just love that. I mean, I, I love how, like, colorful it is. With some colors, like paint, are not that opaque, and you just have to keep layering, and that's kind of annoying. But I, I love acrylic. I would love to move into oil, but currently acrylic is my favorite kind of paint to use, and pencil is just always solid, you know, reliable. She's always there for you, so she's my main chick. Asked if I had any tips on growing my art account, and honestly, I really don't because mine kind of blew up out of nowhere. I'm really thankful for it, and I honestly, every day, I'm like, wow, okay, you guys like me? That's really cool. Um, wow. But I would just like, I've seen a lot of people be like, if you post consistently, then people will just gravitate to your page and stuff like that. So, posting consistently, I would recommend. And actually, I'm like really dumb. So in the beginning of this, you could see me like inking it with the pen, all professional, ahaha. <laughs> but actually I'm super stupid because that pen is water soluble. So every time I was laying down a color and there was even an itty bitty bit of water on the brush, which of course there was, the ink would run and turn like the color from whatever kind of popping color it was to an inky kind of, gray green mess uh hence why the kid's face looks like that when i initially put paint over it but i mean i guess it kind of helped because then it just forced me to actually layer paint on it so it was more the color that it was i was intending it to be but it was still super stinky because wow did that <laughs> ink run all over the place like a sprinter actually it's ridiculous. On a un besoin de, de stabilité et de retrouver ses racines.
Also, this is just me babbling now. Like, random thought. I was thinking about maybe making a TikTok. Ooh, that sounds, <laughs> it sounds so cringy. But I was thinking about making a TikTok for my art account. And I was wondering, like, how would you guys feel about that? Like, I might do it anyway, no matter what you guys say. But I still was just like, what do you think? Because TikTok has short format videos and they're really easy to record and require like not really any editing like on a third platform. So I was just, just popped into my noggin like, what if I did that? Hmm? I don't know. Also, um, I'm not only saying what I say about Gimme Twins just because they were like, ooh, we might give you money, ahaha, <laughs> but like also, I genuinely think that this stuff is really cute. Um, I'm not very much a stationary person, but I think if you were into stationary, this would really like butter your biscuit, you know what I mean? But um, I really do like their stuff, and I just wanted to be transparent about the fact that I had an affiliate code and that I would be getting money. And even if you were like, well, this stuff is okay, I guess, if you just wanted to support me, that would also be a really big help, and I'd really appreciate it, and I love you for that. Thank you. Okay, so, like, another thing about um this whole youtube thing i don't know how frequently i'll be making videos like every time i paint or draw i'm like okay i want to record this so that you know you guys could see because you guys are always like oh like how did you do that and i'll be like oh, i'm so sorry baby i forgot to record anyways um but editing takes a really long time maybe i'll get better at it but currently it takes a really long time so hopefully i could remain even semi-consistent on this channel but um right now i'm thinking about every two weeks dropping a video because this is kind of a lot and i'm very into procrastinating so that really sucks actually <laughs> but um tell me what you guys think because i genuinely want advice and like feedback on this and just i feel like i'm gonna be experimenting with the format of videos i make because right now i don't know this is just what I think a YouTube video is like, and I've seen a lot of videos that I have like inspiration from that I kind of want to film like, but that's really hard, and I'm only using iMovie to edit. I mean, iMovie's decent, but like, ma'am, <laughs> it is not Premiere Pro, and there are a lot of fallbacks to this. I also don't have a laptop. I only have like an iPad, so it's really hard to edit, you know? Like, there's just a lot of things that aren't the same. So, that kind of sucks. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, but I decided to make a Patreon page that coincides with my YouTube channel. So what would be on there is basically like longer format videos that have as literally edited down as possible recordings of my process of making pieces. So I would probably split it up so there's like a sketching a portion area. and then there's like a painting portion so it would be like two videos for every one YouTube video. Um, so I mean I'm probably gonna release that later, like I'll put this video out first and then then I'll like post on my Instagram, which is at Lily Skittles, if you didn't know, for somehow. But um, I'll post on there, like about the Patreon page. So like, stay tuned if you actually like were really just interested in seeing like the entire process. Because literally, I'm not joking. Before I edited down this video, it was literally like two hours and twenty minutes, and I managed to get it down to fifteen minutes, which is woo honestly somebody give me a high five and a cookie because 
that's kind of impressive, and I'm really proud of myself. But, um, yeah, if you'd be interested in that, then do look out for my upcoming Patreon account, and please support me, because I would love if you did that. I'm poor. <laughs> Very poor. Uh, thank you if you got to the end of this video. It's, I don't know if it's boring or not, but to me it is. So if you did, thank you very much. I really much appreciate that. And honestly, you're number one for that one, Chief. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. They might, there might be more content. So, um, bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> I guess, see ya. Here.